Hey and howdy everyone! Welcome back to my channel. It's Jeannie with Paper Pixie Ink and today I'm going to walk you through how to create this fun little waterfall card. So I've used a few different products. I used some of the pattern paper from Catherine Pooler Ink, the Daily Grind pattern paper. I used the Paradise cardstock from Hero Arts and some other things that we will discuss along the way. So we are going to start by taking a piece of the Paradise cardstock or cardstock color of your choice and we are going to make our card base out of it. So we're going to cut it to eight and a half by five and a half and we're going to score it at four and a quarter and this will create our card base. And then I'm going to grab a piece of my pattern paper from the Daily Grind pattern paper set from Catherine Pooler, and I'm going to cut that to three and three quarters by five inches. And I'm going to do this because I'm going to layer it on top of another piece of Nina Solar White. Um, I buy big packs of the Nina Solar White cardstock and the 8.5 by 11 sheets on Amazon. I buy both the 80 pound for layering and like stamping for like cut sentiments and whatnot. And then I also buy um, the 110 pound to make like card bases. So I'm going to cut that piece to four inches by five and a quarter inches and it is going to be layered beneath the pattern paper. So I just like the look that this gives. You don't necessarily have to do this. You there, I mean obviously there's always lots of different ways, but I like doing it because it just gives it a little bit of extra. And then I'm going to use some liquid adhesive to just glue this all down. I have done some <laughs> cleaning in my craft space uh, and I will probably sometime soon be doing like a craft room tour. But anyway, I found a lot, like a lot, a lot of adhesives <laughs> that I didn't even realize I had. So I'm going to be trying to use some of what I have up in various craft projects in the future. So I'm not going to recommend anything per se. I do like this adhesive. Um, I like that it stays wet for a little while. Um, it doesn't grab as quickly as like the art glitter glue or the barely art glue. Um, so you have a little bit of extra time to move things around with this Tombow adhesive. And the adhesive is acid free so it is safe for scrapbooking like the others that I use. All right, so the next thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to cut a strip of my solar white cardstock um, at two inches. It's going to end up being two inches by seven and a half inches. I'm just leaving it at the full strip for the time being. And then I'm going to cut four pieces of small two inches by two inches square pieces as well. These are done in the solar white Nina cardstock too. Uh, I'm just using 80 pound cardstock because the Nina Solar White 80 pound cardstock is still a pretty solid cardstock. You could use 110 pound. Um, it will make the pull down element um, of the waterfall a little bit more sturdy, but it will also add quite a bit of extra bulk to your card. So it just depends uh, on your preference, on you know how you're sending the card and you know what kind of cardstock you're using because you know different companies cardstocks are different so again i am going to cut the four pieces that are two by two and then i'm going to take the original piece that i had cut the one that was two inches by the length of the paper and i am going to score at half an inch intervals four times because if you followed any of my other videos where I've done these types of waterfalls, you attach the four pieces, in this case, four pieces, um, to each one of those score 
sections, if you will. So if you were doing five of the little two by two pieces, you would score five times because you would need five sections. So I'm just gonna go ahead and do that. And then I'm going to fold and burnish all of those score lines. And I wanna make sure that they're really, really done well. <laughs> because you want this to be a flawless pull and close. So the next thing that I'm gonna do is I am going to take this stamp set from scrapbook.com. Uh, this is the Spring Animals stamp set and I am going to use some over coffee ink from Catherine Pooler and I am gonna just stamp some of the little critters, I guess, if you will, um, onto these little sections. So three of these sections are going to be, you know, the little, the little rabbit and the little mouse and some of the little snails and then some of the little mushrooms to kind of add, I guess, to the little critter elements. So the first one I'm doing is the little rabbit and then I'm going to just add a couple of the mushrooms one on either side of the rabbit and then I'm going to grab one of the little snails and I'm going to stamp it kind of right under that mushroom on the right hand side. So kind of kind of looks like he's taking shelter under it. And then I'm going to move on to my next little two by two square. So in my next two by two square, I am going to do the little mouse and then two of the little mushrooms. And again, I'm just kind of stamping the bigger image centered ish because we all know I almost never measure anything on my two by two square piece of cardstock and then I'm going to just grab a couple of the dotted mushrooms I guess uh, and stamp one on either side of the cute little mouse and again I am stamping this in the over coffee ink from Catherine Pooler I would say other than my distress and distress oxide inks, my Catherine Pooler inks are probably my absolute favorite. I love the foam pads as opposed to like the felt kind of pads. And I, re I really like how like juicy and inky they are. Like they are amazingly juicy. And they stamp so well. They're just such a crisp image. And it's all of their colors. I haven't had any problems with any of their colors, even the lighter ones. So, all right. So on the third one, we are going to take the little tree stump image and stamp it again in the over coffee ink. And I centered it, but I pulled it down a little bit from the top because I'm going to take one of the cute little snails <laughs> and I'm going to stamp him on top of the stump. So I wanted to bring the tree stump down a little bit so that, you know, the image still was centered once I had stamped that snail on top of it. So to do the last little square. This is where I'm going to stamp a sentiment and I'm still going to use the same stamp set um, but I am going to use the Hello Spring sentiment from the set. It's a really pretty script font and I just I'm kind of over over winter at the moment and I'm kind of wishing for spring so I'm going to stamp this in the Cumberbund ink from Catherine Pooler. It's a really pretty color and it goes obviously pretty well with the not only the Hero Arts cardstock that we use but the Daily Grind pattern paper. 
um, that we used on the front of the card as well. So I'm going to stamp that and then I am going to stamp um, for the inside of my card. So I, whenever I do a colored card base, I like to add a piece of white on the inside so that I can write my note, stamp my sentiments, what have you on that. So I'm going to cut that down to four inches by five and a quarter inches. And then I am going to take, there's a little like fox stamp in the stamp set. And I'm going to stamp that again. I'm going to stamp that in the over coffee ink and I'm just going to stamp it in the bottom right hand corner of that white cardstock just to add a little bit of a, an extra element to the inside of the card. And then once I am done stamping that, I am going to take my liquid glue and I am going to glue it down on the inside of my card base. So now we're going to piece together our waterfall component. So we're going to take our long strip with our score lines on it and we're going to work backwards. So I want the Hello Spring to be the last thing that pops up when you pull it down. So I'm going to put that one on the first section of my scored cardstock. And I'm just going to use some liquid adhesive and push it down kind of right at the score line on that first section. And then I'm going to repeat this for the other three. And I'm just going to put a little bit of glue and place them down. And I'm going to do it kind of in reverse order to how I created them. So the next one is the little log. And then I'm going to do the little mouse with the, with the mushrooms. And then the very top one and the last that we'll apply is the little rabbit. So the little rabbit is what you see on the front of the card. Okay, so now that we have our little squares attached to our like pull tab element, I'm gonna cut this down. This is what I meant earlier when I said it, the piece is actually like seven and a half. So I'm gonna cut it down so that there's a half an inch past the first, the Hello Spring little square unit. And then I'm just gonna take one of my corner chompers and I am going to chomp both of the corners of the pull tab piece. And then I'm going to use a 1 8 inch eyelet. I'm gonna punch a hole and use my crocodile uh, to attach this little 1 8 inch eyelet. And these ones are ones I got from, I wanna say eyelet outlet. Don't quote me on that though. So I'm just going to eyeball the center and I'm only going to put it a little, a little ways up. So it's only like an eighth of an inch up from the bottom of that little pull tab. I'm going to drop in the eyelet and then I'm going to use the one eighth inch setting on my crocodile to push it down. And then I have some like pink and white baker's twine in my stash. I'm just gonna cut a small piece off and add it to my eyelet so that there's something a little bit more to grab than just the cardstock. So the last piece that we're going to work on is the, it's kind of like a holder piece that we will attach our waterfall to. So we're going to take another piece of white cardstock. You could do this with pattern paper. You could do it with the solid cardstock in the paradise color. 
but I'm just going to use some white and I am going to cut it to one inch by four and a quarter inches because it's going to lay flat across um, horizontally on the card face. And then I'm going to grab my corner chomper, the one that I used earlier, and I am just going to chomp all four of my corners. You don't have to do this. You can leave it just rectangular. Um, you could use just a quarter rounder or I mean you, there's lots of different options but I'm going to use the same one I used earlier and I'm going to do all four corners just to add a little bit of extra detail to this and then we are going to attach this to our waterfall and we're going to do it to the back of our last little two inch piece that we attached. So to the back of the Hello Spring sentiment. And I'm just going to use some of my scrapbook.com double-sided adhesive. This is the three quarter inch um, adhesive. And I'm just gonna cut a small strip that is just slightly smaller than two inches because you don't want the adhesive to be wider than that. So I'm gonna cut a piece of that to put on the back of it. And as you can see, I'm not doing it quite on the edge, but close to it. And I'm leaving a little bit of space on either side. And then I'm gonna burnish it down because I want this, I wanna make sure that this sticks really, really well. And then I'm going to take the backing off. And the little four and a quarter inch by one inch piece that we just cut, we are going to attach to that. So I'm just going to eyeball it and try and make sure that it is relatively centered. You can measure, like you could mark center on your little waterfall feature and center on your little four and a quarter by one inch tab that you created. I'm too lazy for that, <laughs> um, but you would probably get a better, more straight result if you did. Once I have it placed, I'm just going to push it down so that it adheres really well to that double-sided adhesive, and then I'm going to flip it over, and I'm going to apply glue on the back side of the two side tabs that are you know poking out so when the stamped images are on the other side and then I'm going to flip it over and I'm just again going to <laughs> eyeball the center and push it down onto my card front so the only piece of this element that is glued down to the card front are the two side tabs that stick out and then once you've pushed that down, I chose to use some of these pink fresh jewel mix pieces. I use the, the brown ones, chocolate. I'm sure they have a name. I will look it up and include it in the description. Um, but anyway, I grabbed two of the largest ones in this little set. And I'm going to just put a couple of dabs of glue uh, on the two side tabs that stick out just to add a little bit of extra detail to the card front and so that those little tabs aren't so plain. If you had used like a full colored cardstock or you had used some kind of pattern paper or something, you wouldn't necessarily have to do this. Um, you could also like emboss that little strip before you, you know, glued it down. You have lots of options. I like using the gems. So there you have it. That is the card. It comes together quick and easy. And I really enjoy these ones because they're a lot of fun to give. People have a lot of fun when they open them. So I hope you enjoyed the video. And as always, if you're interested in seeing more, don't forget to click on that subscribe button. Thank you.